Since 2002, Ellen Livingston has been living a raw vegan lifestyle. She graduated with a master's degree in counseling, specializing in art therapy. In her pursuit for overall well-being, Ellen practices and teaches yoga, being certified as a registered yoga instructor with the Yoga Alliance. As a raw food educator, she received training on raw nutritional science from internationally renowned raw food teachers Dr. Doug Graham and Professor Rosalind Grubin Graham. Ellen is dedicated to sharing her knowledge of a healthier and happier lifestyle with her community. Today, Ellen will demonstrate to Supreme Master Television viewers a raw recipe that is delicious and nutritious. A lot of people are healthier in the summer simply because they eat more fruits and vegetables in their raw state in the summertime. So uh, we can stave off all the colds and flus and other junk that people are getting if we stay on our raw diet in the wintertime. Then we don't have to be afraid of winter sicknesses anymore. And sort of speaking of, of sicknesses altogether, I mean, I'm very proud and happy to say that I haven't had a cold or flu in all the eight years I've been on a raw diet. I talked about some of the benefits of the raw food diet, one of them being weight loss, vastly increased levels of energy, and that, that energy boost may not happen right away because before you can get to the other side, you have to get rid of the toxicity that you've put in your body over the last number of decades. Clarity of thought is another beautiful benefit. Uh, by this I just mean that that foggy brain feeling that a lot of us walk around with of just kind of feeling a little bit numb, a little bit dulled, <laughs> that comes from toxicity that's in our bodies. Another benefit is the clarity of eyesight and all the senses in the body. People's sense of smell increases and many people are delighted by that. The hearing gets more sensitive for many people. These are definitely all within the realm of likely possibilities for people. Um, the clarity of thought, the increased eyesight, the better hearing and smell, the clearer skin and nicer, softer hair and nails. So there are many, many, many other benefits. Those are just sort of the tip of the iceberg and maybe you'll just have to try it to find out what your benefits could be. So I'm going to make uh, one more recipe for you today. This one doesn't use the blender. This just uses a knife and a cutting board and I bet you all have that. So you don't need any fancy equipment for this one. Um, this is going to use a pineapple, a nice tropical fruit, and a pineapple, again, to be ripe, it should be getting soft. It should be getting yellow, if not mostly yellow. Um, it should be kind of easy to pull these things out of the top. If you have to really yank at them, it's another sign it might not be ripe. Um, this recipe is going to have a red bell pepper. This recipe will have a little bit of fat, because I know you want some of those fatty foods, and it's okay to eat some of them. So I'm going to use some avocado and some fresh cilantro from the garden. What I'm going to make is what I call a tropical raw sandwich or a collard wrap. So a nice way to deal with a pineapple is just to cut the top off. You can use it for a nice centerpiece if you like. And then whatever portion of the pineapple you don't use, you can turn upside down on a plate in the fridge and you don't have to bother with plastic bags or possible spoilage of the fruit because you cut up all the pieces and then tried to store it. So you can just cut off what you need. We just need a little bit for this recipe. So I'll have that ready and waiting. And then I'm going to cut up a little bit of red pepper. So I just want to remove the seeds from the inside. Okay. And then I've got my avocado. Avocado, you know, should be getting dark like this and soft, nice and squishy. This one looks very nice. We want to avoid any brown spots. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to throw out the whole avocado, but you want to cut around them. Take the seed out. And I think I'll start by using the avocado here. I'm going to scoop it out. And actually, I think half an avocado is going to do for this recipe because this is just an individual dish. This is a one person serving. A lot of people are big into where do you get your protein? Well, all of these foods have protein in them. So I'm just mashing up the avocado. 
And I'm going to squirt in just a little bit of lime to add a little zest. Okay, mix that up. Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, will be right back after these brief messages with raw food educator Ellen Livingston on how to make a tropical raw sandwich. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. when you didn't have any equipment, if you were camping or otherwise just wanted to keep it real simple. And then I'm going to slice up the red pepper into some nice long julienne strips. This is all the filling for our wrap we're about to make. That's probably enough. Cut the outer edge off the pineapple. And then I can just go around that center core that's too tough and fibrous to eat. And then I can cut some nice thin strips of pineapple. Okay, there's my pineapple and my red pepper. And I'm going to get my leaf out. This is my wrap. This is a collard leaf. You could use a kale leaf or a big romaine lettuce leaf or anything you like. I like the collard leaves because as you can see they're real floppy and yet fairly strong so they're easy to roll without cracking. So I just take off this big hard stem at the end. So I take off most of that, lay it out flat and the avocado is going to be my filling. What holds everything in place. I'm just going to press a layer of that. Spread it out a little bit, but I don't want to go too far to the edges because I don't want it to squeeze out when I roll it up. And then I'm going to lay my fillings in, going long ways. So a bit of red pepper, putting a little pineapple in. And then the last ingredient could be fresh cilantro, it could be sprouts. I like to use fresh pea sprouts or sunflower sprouts. Today I'm using cilantro. And then I'm just going to roll it up nice and tight, carefully, so that I don't break the leaf at all. And another reason I like the collard leaves is because they're soft enough to roll under on the end and make like a burrito so that when you're eating your sandwich, all the contents stay safely tucked inside. And now, for looks, I'm just going to cut off this big end here. Take my wrap, and your wrap will be different sizes based on how big your leaf is, obviously. So you can make a bigger meal out of it if you like. And maybe garnish the plate with something um, when you're picking your garnishes, it's really lovely to pick, and good for your digestion, to pick garnishes that are some of the ingredients that were already being used, so that we're not adding more complications to the dish. So I might garnish it with some cilantro and a little splash of color. Here's a nasturtium from the garden. It's another beautiful edible flower. They're delicious. They're a tiny bit spicy. And there we go. We've got a lovely wrap, a more savory vegetable meal, but the, the tangy sweetness of the pineapple and the red pepper really brings out a zing in this wrap. So thank you very much. It's a delight to be here and share my passion for a raw food diet and a healthy lifestyle so that you can recover your natural vibrant energy, your zest for life, your joy for just being here on this planet. 
Find out more information about Raw Food Educator Ellen Livingston at www.livingyoganow.com. Details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG 